Hey guys, I've just been um, thinking about stuff the last couple of days about um, what would be what it would be like if I was still on the 15 milligrams of mirtazapine because obviously I wanted off for a reason because I was eating so much crap and you know the, the weight was piling on so I did want to get off because of that but gaining a few pounds compared to the withdrawals that I've had to go through the last two years I I can see why people stay on because the latter is 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 so hard and is life changing. I mean, I was I guess I was one that didn't really have bad side effects. I was only on four months, so a lot could have happened, you know, in the future. But at the time, it was literally just my eating that was out of control. And I just wonder, like, if I did stay on, you know, where would I be today? Would I still be at work? Would I still be at the gym? Would I still be playing football? And it just it just makes me think, like, I've put myself through this taper to get off. And I'm glad that I'm getting off because I know the dangers of, and the harm that these medications can cause. But would my life be easier if I was just still on it? ignorant to to all the knowledge that I have now you know you you miss your life so much and you can see why when people jump off a high dose and they go into chaos with withdrawal you know and they and they go back on and they get some relief from that awful feeling and the awful symptoms that you get they probably think it's not even worth it. It's easier to just stay on than go through years of suffering, I suppose. I mean, I'll be glad, you know, once I'm off and healed, I'll be so glad that I put myself through it. But you can see why people choose to stay on, even if they don't need them. You can see why they, they'd rather stay on the drug than go through the endless symptoms that you get when you try jumping off and yeah I'm just you know I always think about my old life it, it doesn't ever do me any good because I just end, I end up feeling sad but I'm just hoping you know I'm I'm near the end now and I, you know I, I know that I will get that life back but what a long old slog it has been to try and get there. It's just, it blows my mind even now, two years on. I still don't think I, I've accepted it. I still get a lot of angry feelings. But rightly so, obviously, if your life's been turned upside down, you're going to have negative emotions with it, so... Yeah, I just I just thought I would uh, pop a quick video on and just uh, voice my feelings that I've been having the last couple of days. Uh, I hope everyone is well. Um, I'm going to drop to 0 0.55 milligram on Sunday. 8% uh, drop, I think. Um, see how that one goes. <laughs> see ya.